And this is the most exciting time in cardiology that's ever existed. You people are so lucky, the fits. Uh, uh, they asked me to prepare a talk on the future of cardiology. And if you look at nanotechnology, if you look at three-dimensional bioprinting, if you look at the availability of new sensors, it's phenomenal. Cardiology will explode in the next 10 to 20 years. And the people who can make it happen are the people who grew up in the digital age, uh, the people who always had the internet always had cell phones, not people like me. <laughs> uh, I didn't have either one of those. So uh, you're perfectly qualified and you're at an incredibly exciting uh, point in time. I would do the biotechnology and cardiology is going to be a wonderful discipline for you. So that was an, quite an inspiration for fellows like us and um, anything uh, we should focus on during this ACC this year for specifically for the fellows in terms of trials or? Well, of course, the big trial will be the PROMISE trial. We participated in that at UCSD, and, and uh, you know, that remains one of the major questions. How do you handle a patient with acute chest pain? Uh, and, and still, we know it's a very common problem. The majority of people don't have an acute coronary syndrome, but they occupy a lot of time and resources. So it will be interesting to see if uh, an immediate CT angio is the best way to handle patients and reduce events. I would say for me, for my daily practice, that study has the greatest potential to make an impact.